Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian and today I am going to be doing a Kindle book haul. So basically I bought my Kindle at the end of May I think and since then I've accumulated a lot of books. <laughs> um, basically every day <laughs> I uh, go on the Kindle daily deals and see if there's any books that I want to read and if there are I just usually get them because they're like $2.99 usually. Um, so I have a lot of books on my Kindle and I thought I would do a little haul for you guys and maybe you guys can let me know which books I should get to soon because there's a lot. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Kindle. Um, well, this is the case for the Kindle. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna go through them all and since there are a lot, <laughs> um, I'm gonna start from the oldest ones I have. So since there are a lot, I'm not gonna go too into detail about what each of them are about. Also, I don't know <laughs> what a lot of these are about because as you guys might know, I don't usually read synopsis, synopsises, I still don't know the plural for that, whatever. I don't usually read the synopsis of a book before I read it. I like to go into books as blindly as possible. So I usually only know what I've heard from other people and I also have a horrible memory. So <laughs> even when I have heard what the book is about, I probably forgot it. So, but that's good for this video because um, there's a lot and we should probably try to, you know, get through these quickly. So let's just jump right into it. The first book I have here is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. All I know is that this book is a YA mystery and I've heard a lot of people say that it's really good. So I'm excited to read that one. The next book I have is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is a adult fantasy, I believe. I know there's a lot of books in this series, so if I read it, then there's a lot of books to get to. Um, but I know it is a fairly well-beloved series, so I am excited to get to this one. The next book we have is Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. I've heard some mixed things about this book, but I first heard about it from Haley from Haley and Bookland. She really loves this book and the, like, um, not the sequel, but the, um spin-off, I guess, book. Uh, this is the... Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not spin-off, but the... like the side book. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Not the sequel. St uh, companion! Companion! I think that's the word I'm looking for, um, but there's a companion novel too, and I've heard better things about that one, but I do have this first book, so... Uh, I will get to that one day. <laughs> the next book I have is Three Dark Crowns by Kendra R. Blake. I think that's how you say her name. This one, I have heard quite good things about this one actually. I believe it is a YA fantasy about these three sisters and they have to kill each other and whoever, you know, lives is uh, going to become the queen. I think that's what it's about. So that sounds really interesting to me. The next book I have is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. And I'm really interested in this book. I've heard that it's a like a mix between Mulan and um, uh, no America's Top Model or something like that. Is that what it is? But anyways, it's basically like Mulan with like a fashion element. I think it's there's like I think she, the main character is a seamstress and there's some sort of competition. It's something like that, but it sounds really interesting. So I'm excited to get to that one. The next book I have is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetis. I did read Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sapetis and I loved it. It was amazing. It was really sad, but I highly recommend that book if you haven't read it yet. And I think this is her first book if I'm not mistaken. And it's another historical fiction. I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but I'm sure it's gonna be amazing and I'm sure it'll make me cry, so that's great. The next book I have is The Bone Witch by Rin Chapeco. I've actually heard a lot of mixed things about this book, but the premise from when I read it really interested me. I believe the girl somehow like 
resurrects her dead brother or something like that. And the cover for this is really pretty, so if I do end up loving this book, then I would love to have a, a physical copy of this book because the cover is just stunning to me. So the next book I have is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. She's also known as V.E. Schwab. She's probably more well known for her adult series like Vicious. Is that adult? I think it is. Vicious and A Darker Shade of Magic. Um, but this is her YA series and I know there's something to do with music and monsters, but that's all I know. But I have heard really good things about this one too, so I'm excited to get to this one. I'm excited to get to all of these. That's just a given. So next we have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This one I've heard a lot of mixed things about. Some people really really love this one and some people really don't. <laughs> Aaron Morgenstern also wrote The Night Circus which I also haven't read but I would really like to get to that one too. But The Starless Sea, I believe it's about this boy who is reading this book from the library and he realizes that the book is telling like his own life story and I think it's like a book within a book situation and I've heard the writing is very lyrical, very like fantastical and whimsical, basically all the all the words. So I'm wondering if it's similar to Lainey Taylor's writing because her writing is very lyrical. But I, So that makes me really excited to read this book because we all know I love Lainey Taylor's writing. So yeah, there we go. Next we have an arc that I have from NetGalley that I haven't read yet. This one is called How to Walk on Water. Now, <laughs> one thing I should say is that I do read the synopsis of a book before I, re I request it on NetGalley. However, I always forget what it's about. And this was the very first arc that I ever got approved for on NetGalley. So I don't remember. I do remember this one is a short story collection, but I can't remember what the theme is of the book. So I will get back to you guys once I read this book. But I requested it, so I guess I found it interesting. I'm so sorry that I'm not very helpful with synopsis, synopses, whatever. I have a horrible memory and I also don't read synopsis, so that doesn't help. But moving on. So the next book is The Upside of Falling by Alex Light and this is a YA contemporary romance. I think it is a fake dating trope and then they'll fall in love, something like that. I haven't heard too much about this book so I don't know if people like it or not but I love a good fake dating trope so there we go. The next book I have is The Library of the Unwritten by AJ Hackwith. Yes, hack with. Um, and I've heard a lot about this book recently. A lot of people seem to really love it. I think it's about a library from hell, something like that. So that really intrigues me and I love reading about books. So that, uh, that sounds interesting, sounds good to me. And I think the second book comes out either at the end of this year or the beginning of next, be uh, next year. So yeah, I should get to this one soon, but <laughs> we'll see. As you can see, I have a lot of books here. So the next book I have is another arc. This one is called The Year Shakespeare Ruined My Life. I'm not sure who this is about. For all the, because I'm looking at like, you know, whatever. Um, so for all these books, I'll put the picture here um, so you can see the authors for these books on the cover. So The Year Shakespeare Ruined My Life. I believe this is a YA contemporary, possibly romance. Again, I don't remember. I guess Shakespeare has something to do with it. <laughs> I think like this girl is working on a production of a Shakespeare play and I guess stuff happens, so. But I remember hearing about it and liking it. The next one I have is Why Birds Sing, which is another arc. I do not remember what this is about at all, so. I, again, will get back to you guys on that when I read it. The next book I have is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. And I've heard a lot about this book. I, I've heard mostly good things about it. It is a fantasy, I think it's YA. I don't know much more than that, as we all are surprised. But I am really excited to get to this one because I have heard a lot about it, so yeah. The next book I have is Fear Reborn by Claire Legrand. I think this is another YA fantasy and I've heard some really good things about this one. So there we go, moving along. <laughs> next we have Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one I'm really interested to read because I have read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I would really like to read um, Evelyn Hugo. 
uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo soon. I've only read one book from her and I know those two are her most popular books and not a lot of people seem to like her older books but I have heard mixed things about them so I would really like to read them and see what I think about her older books. I think this one is the one where the girl like at some point she has to like make a big decision in her life and then the book follows her like through what would happen if she made like to, how do I explain this like I can't remember what the decision is she has to make but it's like the book follows her if she says yes to whatever this thing is or if she says no like something like that so and shows like the difference in her life between like how she could have made this decision does that make any sense I don't know I don't know we're just gonna move on but I'm really interested <laughs> to read this book the next book I have is another arc it is called the places we sleep I think Am I thinking of the right book? I'm getting these arcs mixed up because I can't see the cover, so I don't remember, but here's the cover. <laughs> Next we have Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Tiffany D. Jackson, and I'm really interested in this book. I believe it's about this girl named Monday who goes missing, and we're trying to figure out where she is and stuff, and I know uh, Kayla from Books and Lala loves this book, so... I'm really interested to read it. Next we have Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I think this is one of Nick Stone's lesser popular books because I've heard a lot about Jackpot and I've heard a lot about Dear Martin, but I haven't heard too much about this one. So I'm not too sure what it's about, but I saw it on sale and I really wanna start reading Nick Stone's books, so I bought it. Next we have All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This one I think there's like pirates and stuff in it so that's just that's enough to get me interested. It is a YA fantasy I think but yeah I'm excited to get to it. <laughs> Next we have Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. This is a adult mystery I think and I think the story is that it's this girl who's in a coma but she can hear everything going on around her and so she like finds out why she's in a coma from like people talking around her bed something like that it sounds interesting so that's why i got it <laughs> the next one i have is tweet cute by emma lord this one i'm really excited to read it sounds really cute um pun intended i believe it's about these two people who they both are in charge of like the social media for their family's grilled cheese business, businesses, something like that. And I, I don't know if it's enemies to lovers or like if it's kind of like a forbidden lover situation where like they shouldn't be together because of their grilled cheese businesses, <laughs> something like that. But it sounds really cute and I've heard good things so I'm excited to read it. Next we have Summer of Salt which I actually have read. Uh, this is by Katrina Leno and I love this book so much. I cannot recommend it enough. I really really love this book. It is about this girl who lives on this like secluded island with her twin sister and her family, um, all the women in her family have some sort of power, but our main character, Georgina, she hasn't gotten her, she hasn't discovered her power yet. And I mean, there's a lot of other stuff going on. It's summer, and at the end of the summer, Georgina is supposed to go off to college and she's never left the island, so that's a huge thing that's happening in her life. And there's just a lot of stuff, and this book is great, and I love it, and I highly recommend. The next book we have is The Weight of Stars, or The Weight of the the Weight of the Stars by Kay Ingram, and I completely forgot I have this book, but I'm really excited about this. I think it's like a sci-fi YA, I think it's YA. I don't know too much besides that. I know, again, Kayla from Books and Lala really loved this book, and I've heard a lot of people say they love this book, and I really want to read this and their other book, The Wicker King, so I'm excited about that. Next we have Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This is another YA fantasy series. I've heard mixed things about this series, but I thought I'd give it a try. It was on sale once again, so there you go. <laughs> Next we have Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn and this one I'm excited about because I believe the main character is asexual so I'm excited to read about that. I have heard mixed things about this book but I am still excited to read it. Next we have The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty 
And this book I've heard lots about. A lot of people really love this series. I think it's adult fantasy, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe the last book just came out, so everyone is talking about it. And I'd like to read it so that I won't be left out. <laughs> <laughs> basically. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to that soon. We'll see. Next we have Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron, another one that I've heard lots of good things about. So I'm sorry I'm being so repetitive with this, but I really don't know what <laughs> all of these are about. This one is also a fantasy, I think it's way, but I'm not 100% sure, so there you go. Next, another book that I completely forgot I have is The Fountains of Silence by Rudis Apetes. As I said, I've read The Salt, um, Salt of the Sea by Rudis Apetes and really loved it, so excited to get to this one also. Next we have The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is a like Arthurian legend retelling, like what is that called? Like the Knights of the Round Table, you know? You know what I'm talking about like King Arthur, all that, whatever, we know. But I, this is more centered on Guinevere, and I've heard good things. Next we have Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore, and I've never read one of their books, but I am really intrigued to read one of their books, so I saw this, again, I saw this on sale, and I really wanted to get it. I'm not too sure what this is about, but I believe they write mostly, like, magical realism, so yeah, I don't know. I like magical realism. So there we go. Next we have All Your Twisted Secrets by Diana Urban. This one I do kind of know a little bit about. This one <laughs> is about, it is a YA mystery book. It's about this group of kids who all get detention I think and when they show up to detention they are locked in what the classroom they're in and there's a note saying that they have to kill each other until one survives, something like that. So it sounds kind of crazy, but it sounds really interesting. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Next we have Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. This one is a YA romance, YA contemporary romance, I think. I think it's about these two people who are like going door to door campaigning for like politicians. And I think they're like campaigning for rivals. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This book, this video is probably so boring. But I've heard good things. Once again. Next we have Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. All I know is that this is a mystery thriller, I think, about a girl named Emma who goes missing. Again, that's all I know. Next we have The Black Kids. This is a uh, another arc and this one actually comes out at the beginning of August so I should probably get to this one really soon. But from people who have read this already, I've heard this book is amazing so I really do want to get to this before it comes out. And I think this book takes place in the 70s? I think. So I'm really interested to read it. Next we have Me and White Supremacy by... oh no, their name is blocked off. Layla... Uh, wait. Yes, Layla. Okay. So yeah, so Me and White, Pre Me and White Supremacy by Layla F. Sad. This is a anti-racism book. My friend read it recently and really recommended it, so I saw it on sale and decided to get it. The next book I have is Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. This is a mystery thriller and I think this is about the like main character. He had written a list of like the eight perfect murders in fiction and then someone is like recreating these murders in real life and so they suspect it's this guy because he made the list. So it sounds really interesting. The next book I have is The Night Girl by James Bow. So I saw this book on NetGalley and the cover has the CN Tower on it, which is in Toronto and I'm Canadian. So I was like, that's cool. So I don't even think this one I read, <laughs> I read the synopsis for. So I requested it not realizing that this book actually came out like last year. So like I got the book right away because it already came out. So now I have it and I guess I'll read it eventually. <laughs> Next we have The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez or Jimenez, I'm not entirely sure. I do have, um, what's that book called? The Friend Zone by the same author. I haven't read it yet but I've heard good things about it so I thought I would get her second book as well. Next we have When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLemore. Again, 
I really want to try reading their books. I think this is another magical realism book and I've heard a lot more about this one than Dark and Deepest Red but I'm really excited to get to this one as well. Next we have The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This one I've heard amazing things about. Everyone who's read this book seems to love it. Again, I don't know what it's about, <laughs> but I've heard amazing things and I want to read it. Next we have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang and this one I think is about, it's a adult romance I think, and I believe the main character has Asperger's and she hires a male escort to teach her about sex something like that and I believe this is an own voices uh, book so I've heard mixed things about this one but I'm interested to give it a try next we have The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson this book we all know is a big boy <laughs> I feel like everyone's read this book but me at this point but I have it now on my Kindle and also I thought that maybe if I read it on my Kindle then like since I can't see exactly how long it is I would be less intimidated to read it you know so yeah I, I'll get to it one day one day <laughs> next we have Circe by Madeline Miller I have already read this book um, if you saw my June wrap-up or any of my vlogs from June you know I did not like this book <laughs> Um, I gave it two stars. It just wasn't for me. I didn't I didn't like it. Moving on. Next we have Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. This is another arc and I cannot believe I got proof for this. I have read A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman and really loved it and I saw that he had another book coming out so I requested it and I got approved and I was like what the heck. So I'm excited to get to this one. Next we have All This Time which is another arc. Again, I don't remember what this is about. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next we have The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. This one I'm really interested to read. I think this is another like book within a book. Book. <laughs> um, and I've heard pretty good things and I also got approved for her next book which is Once in Future Witches and that one sounds really good too so I'm excited to get to this one. Next we have Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. I think this is like a domestic, not thriller, but a domestic like literary fiction type of book. This one's actually on my TBR for this month so I should be get the, getting to this one soon. So stay tuned for my thoughts on that. <laughs> Next we have The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I've only read one of their books which is The Unhoneymooners and I loved it. If you didn't know, I love that book. <laughs> and this is their newest book I think and I've heard mixed things about it but I still want to try reading more of their books so I thought I would get it. Next we have Crushing It by Lorelai Parker. This is another arc and I did read this one. I did not like it. I gave it two stars also. This one is about this girl who works for this video game company and uh, explaining the synopsis is kind of long but essentially she is doing this competition where she has to read like embarrassing stories at like an open mic type of thing and people like she's trying to overcome her fear of public speaking but this guy that she went to college with and had a huge crush on is also in this competition so it's them like reconnecting but she also starts having feelings for this other guy and it's just not very good i'm sorry i don't recommend it <laughs> next we have the black flamingo by dean ada this book i'm really excited to get to i think it's written in verse which I've only read one one book so far written in verse but I really liked it so I'm excited to get to this one. I believe it's about this young boy who wants to be a drag artist and just him going through that so it sounds interesting and I've heard amazing things about that one like everyone who's read it seems to love it it has an award on the cover so I'm sure it's amazing. Next we have Love From A To Z by SK Ali all I know about this is that the main characters, one of them's name starts with A and one of them starts with Z and that's all I know. I'm sorry. Next we have The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams or Lisa K. Adams, I'm not sure. And this one I do know is an adult romance and it's about this guy who um, his wife has told him that 
she is unhappy in their marriage and she's thinking of getting a divorce but he really wants to save the marriage so he joins this book club called the Bromance Book Club where it's just a bunch of guys who read romance novels and try to learn how to treat their spouses better and that sounds really fun and really funny and just really cute so I've heard good things about it and I'd love to read it. Next we have The Bride Test by Helen Huang. This one I'm not too sure what it's about but I think the main character in this one also has Asperger's like um, in the Kiss Quotient so again its own voices. I'm excited to get to this one. Next, um, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but I have The Once and Future Ri Witches by Alex E. Harrow. This one's about witches, but I've heard good things from people who have read it already, so... And I'm supposed to maybe read this with Katie from Brightness Katie Reads, so that's exciting. So I might get to that like next month. Next we have Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. This one, again... <laughs> I don't know much about. I'm sorry. The cover's really pretty <laughs> and it was on sale so I bought it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Next we have Freshwater by Akwiki Emezi and this one I don't know much about but I saw that Jesse from Bowties and Books really loved this book so I mean I trust their opinion so I got it and I'm sure I will love it just like they did. Next we have White Rage by Carol Anderson. This book I have read and I really liked it. It was very impactful, very powerful, and very informative and I, especially if you're American, but really everyone should read this book I think. And it's really short so I did find it was pretty dense so I would like to read it again to make sure that I like understood all the knowledge because my brain is this big and um, I really want to like remember the information that's in this book so I would recommend. Next! Oh I haven't talked about this book yet. Well I have but I haven't talked about this book since I've read it on my channel but next we have Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. Oh my god, I read this book recently and I won't talk too much about it because I'll save that for my wrap up, but I love this book so much. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen after I finished this book how much I loved it. Oh my god, this book is so amazing. It's one of my favorite reads of the year. It's probably one of my new favorite books of all time. I love this book so much. Oh my god, please read it. It comes out August 25th. Please pre-order it. Please go buy it. It's so, so, so good. I need to talk to people about my emotions. Okay. <laughs> I read the second half of this book in one sitting. I stayed up until 3 a.m. to finish it. I was a mess. It is amazing. Please read it when it comes out. Um, it is about... <laughs> I wouldn't even say what it's about. It's about this girl who is a magician and she... I don't want to say too much because it's best to go into this not knowing too much I feel like. But she's a magician and she enters this competition for magicians and a lot of things happen and... Mm, please read it. Okay, moving on. Next we have Against the Loveless World by Susan Abulhawa. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. This is a literary fiction book. Oh, this is another arc, by the way, but yes. I don't remember, okay. Next we have Queen of the Conquered by Case and Calendar. I do have Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to, so I saw this book by them and really wanted to get it because I just heard amazing things about their writing, so I figured I'd get anything they wrote. <laughs> Next we have The Selection by Kira Cass. I have read this book. I read it for Becca's Bookopliathon, if you guys watched my vlog for that. I hated this book. <laughs> I gave it one star. I do not like it. I do not recommend. It was so ridiculous. I'm not even going to tell you what it's about because, well, most of you have probably read it by now. It's like a pretty old YA book and it's pretty popular. I really did not like this. <laughs> This is the only book I've ever given one star. It was not good, so I do not recommend. Next we have The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. This was my first Elizabeth Acevedo book and it was my first book written in verse and I listened to the audiobook to this while I read it on my Kindle and I highly, highly recommend the audiobook. It was amazing. It's narrated by Elizabeth Acevedo.
Acevedo herself and it's just amazing. It follows this girl named Xiomara and she is, I think she's 16 and she's just going through life and she, I just want the best for her. <laughs> like she has a like difficult relationship with her mother and she just wants to write poetry and she just wants to find love and you know be a teenage girl and there's just oh I just want her to be happy. So I really love this book <laughs> and I really recommend. We're getting close to the end so bear with me. Next we have The One by John Mars. This is a mystery thriller? Is this a thriller? I think it's a mystery, maybe not a thriller, but anyways. And I think the premise is that everyone in the world has like a soulmate and so you can do this like test to find out who your soulmate is. So it's about this like group of people and it's following each of their stories, finding their soulmate, something like that. And I've heard it's really good, so. There you go. Next we have When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. This is actually the book I'm currently reading. I am 67% of the way through and I am loving this book. It is so well written. Oh my god I love it so much. This is a memoir by Paul Kalanithi who was a neurosurgeon and then he was diagnosed with terminal cancer and this book he wrote before he died. He was in his 30s and I don't I think he finished writing the book before he died but it was published after he died and I am just ready to cry so much when this book is done because I love Paul like his writing is so good and uh, I just feel so attached to him so it's just so heartbreaking to think that he's not around anymore but I am really liking this book so Stay tuned for my July wrap up for more of my thoughts on that. Next we have Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata and all I know about this book is about it's about a woman who works in a convenience store <laughs> but I think it's just about this woman and her life working in this convenience store and I thought it sounded really interesting so I decided to get it. And the last book I have here is another arc it's called Love Sold Separately this is the most recent arc that I was approved for and what I do know about this book it's about this woman who starts a job at this fashion company I think and then the like head of the company is found dead so but I think this is like a romance I don't think this is like I think it focuses more on a romance like I think the main character has a relationship with the detective of the case or something so it sounds interesting. I don't really know what to expect but yeah. So <laughs> there you have it. Those are all the books that I've bought on my Kindle in the past two months. I know there's a lot but I will get to these someday and I'm sure by the time you're watching this video there will be even more books on my Kindle but you know what? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that I buy books that are on sale for $2.99 and I'm not sorry that I don't know the synopsis because I like reading books without knowing the synopsis. So maybe that makes this video really boring and maybe no one is watching this. If you watch till the end, okay let's do this. If you watch till the end, which emoji should you leave? Okay. If you've watched till the end, leave the emoji of the person in a bath and they have like a green shower cap on, leave that emoji <laughs> if you've watched till the end because I understand this video might have been really boring with me just listing off the books but I did really want to make it and you know, I should just make whatever content I want even though no one will watch it, it's fine. But if you did watch it, please leave that, that emoji for me. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this whole video, I will see you guys soon. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot that I reached 200 subscribers last week, which... What? Thank you guys so much. That's amazing. I can't believe I have 200 subscribers. That's crazy. So thank you guys so much for that. And I said this in... Um, whenever I reached 100 subscribers, I said that every time I reach 
like another hundred subscribers I wanted to shout out some smaller booktubers so I'm gonna be shouting out three booktubers who have under a thousand subscribers and I'm gonna be shouting out three booktubers that I don't think I've mentioned at all in any of my videos because there are some that I've mentioned like a lot and that I've tagged a lot in different things so I wanted to mention some that I haven't talked about at all. So first I wanted to shout out Jordan from Teasers Books. She is so sweet. Um, I've talked to her a bunch on Twitter and she's just so sweet and I love her videos so please go check her out. I will link all these people down below so please go check them out but yeah I love Jordan. So next I have Sydney from Sid Bookworm. I love Sydney so much. She's so funny and I just love all her videos. I think the first video I watched from her was her reading vlog reading Crescent City and it was just so entertaining because <laughs> some of the things she was feeling are what I was feeling when I read that book too. So I highly recommend you go check out her channel. And finally I'm going to shout out Brooke from Brooke's Books. Brooke, she's another person that I've been talking to a lot on Twitter and she's so nice and I love her videos, especially the ones with her boyfriend. They're so hilarious. So um, yeah, highly recommend Brooke. So please go check those uh, people out. I will link them down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon with another video soon. Bye!